the purpose of this uh, video <laughs> is to show you how one to, how many to one relationships look like from both a data perspective and also from a design perspective like you would do in Visio. I'm using Microsoft Excel here only just to illustrate the relationships not as a tool for design much like I would use a whiteboard to explain something to you if you were in class. So in this situation we have a many to one relationship where each professor can be associated with only one department but each department can have many different professors. And the, we have two tables, a professor table and department table, each with its own information identifying the professor and, depart and identifying the department. Um, the way this works is the professor table has a primary key called professor ID that uniquely identifies each person in the professor table. And the department table has a primary key that uniquely identifies each department in the department table. The way you associate a professor with a department is that you put what's called a foreign key in the professor table right here and it points to the primary key in the department table of the department to which this professor belongs. So Joe Smith, for example, has a department ID foreign key of one in the professor table. That points to the department table's primary key of one indicating that this professor is in the business department. So when you see this data perspective here, you'll see how the database management system is capable of associating rows of data in one table with rows of data in another. For example, here's the question I've asked. How does the database management system find the department for a specific professor, such as Mary Absent? Well, it first finds Mary Absent in the professor table right here. There she is. It retrieves her department ID, which is the number of two. So in this professor table, department ID foreign key is 2. Then it goes to a department table and puts the number 2 in the department column and then reads the department. So it finds the, it doesn't put, it finds the number 2 in the department table. It finds this 2 and says, oh, Mary Absent, she's in the English department. We could look at Ralph Swetland. His department ID is 1. Well, that means that this is pointing over to this department ID primary key in the department table. And that means that uh, Ralph Swetland is in the business department. So these are the rules when you're designing. Every table must have a primary key, just as we had a professor ID for the professor table or a department ID for the department table. The foreign key goes on the many side of the relationship. What I said was each professor is associated with one department, but a department can have many professors. So that means the many side of the relationship, the professor table, is the one that has the foreign key in it. The foreign key points to a primary key in a table on the one side of the relationship. So this foreign key is pointing, number one for example, points to the one side of the relationship which is the department table because each professor is associated with one department. So that's what this looks like from a data perspective. Now this isn't the way you'll turn in your assignments or anything. This is just to illustrate how these relationships look in data format. In Microsoft Visio, this is what the design looks like. You've got a professor table. You've identified the column as the primary key as the professor ID, and then you've got the last name, the first name, and the department ID as the foreign key. That matches this data perspective perfectly. And the department table has a department ID, which is a primary key, and then a department description, which is a non-key column. It's not a foreign key or anything. It just holds information. And that's how you create many to, that's how you, that's the rationale behind many-to-one relationships in a relational database design. 